In this video, you're going to get the entire lore explanation of the live event because trust me, this was one of the most confusing live events we have ever gotten. Definitely not my favorite, but personally, I'm not going to hate on it. Right now, we're here to cover all the lore and what everything means. So let's start it off with the lobby. As you guys can see right here, we start off on this little island. It's isolated in space and all we have is a TV. I have no idea why we're starting here. You guys want me to be dead legit here? I was going to make some stuff up. But this makes no sense. It genuinely does not fit in with, like, any of the storyline. Personally, I see no way that this currently attaches to what's going on. I think some people will make some pretty good theories about what it means. Honestly, my personal theory for this is that this is kind of a metaphor for us being outside of the loop. And then this TV is showing us what has previously happened. So we're kind of, like, starting after the event actually happens and like the TV is some magical time twisting thing where we can see into the loop and what has just happened I, guys don't ask me I have no freaking idea why we started on this island but do just know that nobody knows why this is so if you hear people saying this is why we started here definitively trust me they don't know that for sure this is a very weird situation but anyways the tv then kicks us into our first cinematic in this cinematic we are defending the reality tree we're still not entirely sure what the reality tree is because just like all of fortnite's lore really nothing is ever confirmed but the herald wants to get to it the herald wants to turn the entire map into chrome so she starts to do that and the island loopers are defending it unfortunately though the herald is a lot stronger than them and she manages to smack her hand down on to the reality tree everybody gets chromed but they lose gravity this is the big part gravity is cut and we get the zero point sound effect now there's a few different ways that this scene could be interpreted obviously here the herald dies the entire island literally explodes the reason for why it exploded really goes 50 50 in my opinion the first option is that the Herald completely overloaded her energy on accident, and she just blew up the island. Remember, the Herald's goal is to destroy the entire reality, not just the island. So the Herald did not complete her goal, despite what everybody is saying. She wanted to destroy the reality. All she got was the island. Everything else survived. The zero point is totally fine, which means she kind of failed here. So at the end of the day, she did not complete her goal now the second option is that it was not Harold overloading her energy it was the zero points defense mechanism as you guys saw right there the gravity got cut off that means that the zero point did something inside of the loop that said all right screw this I'm not messing with the Herald anymore now when she's at her strongest so am I and the zero point just blew up everything it would have been a very interesting sacrifice play by the zero point but honestly i'm thinking that's the way that this storyline is leaning i'm thinking that the zero point's job was to blow up the herald once she got too close and then it wanted to reconstruct the island as you guys can see right here the zero point begins sending out its tentacles grabbing tiny pieces of island this is why i think the zero point had the plan all along to blow up the herald when she was at her most exposed the herald was ready to take over over all realities and destroy them consuming them into the nothing but instead the zero point took the opportunity when she was channeling all her power into destroying everything and instead the zero point destroyed the herald and the nothing goo while it was at it from these remnants that it completely blew up it begins to rebuild yet another island not another reality another island the nothing's goal is to destroy reality but the nothing only ends up destroying the island now the zero points job is like okay screw it guys if you want to destroy the island fine by me i can just make another so that's what it starts doing and that is why we get all of these mini quest lines now of course amy and the paradigm are kind of talking throughout all of this and they say a bunch of mumbo jumbo basically they're talking about zero fusion effectively this is the idea that the zero point is literally taking islands and landmarks and a bunch of different places from separate reality and it is literally fusing them into a new island it is creating a new island and therefore it is zero fusion it is fusing all of these places together into one big spot now that's why we needed to collect all of these zero point fragments since the zero point just blew itself up we need to get it restored but all in all the zero point is basically in defense mode because it has lost a bunch of its chunks so we need to go around these surrounding islands collecting the zero point shards to power it up to give it enough energy to then pull the final pieces from all the realities to bring together a new map and start the loop all over again 
Now, here's where it gets weird. The Seven's job is to stop the loop. They don't like us playing the game of Fortnite Battle Royale. They want it to be where you can just go to that island and visit it like it's like Ohio or something, where you are not in an infinite 100 player Battle Royale loop. But apparently the seven like it now because we just reconstructed an entirely new loop. We used to be under the impression that the IO were the ones controlling the loop. They had constructed the loop so that Geno could get more information on how people fight each other, how people function. It was literally just a testing event. The game of Fortnite Battle Royale was just a big science experiment by the IO to get more information. But it seems like that's no longer true because we keep going back to the loop and obviously the loop can never be destroyed in the lore because that would mean that the game of Fortnite Battle Royale doesn't exist. So unless Fortnite is planning on shutting down one day, you can't ever destroy the loop, which is kind of weird when you think about it that they've centered their entire lore storyline around the game mode itself. So you know that it always has plot armor, but this is why the event was kind of lame. You literally were just collecting these zero shards for like 30 minutes while the zero point continued to grab more and more chunks of realities that it could then use to rebuild an entire island. Its goal here the entire time was just to make another defense system. It wants to have the island surrounding it so that the loop will stop people from getting to the zero point. The zero point obviously doesn't want to be controlled. It is the strongest power of energy in the entire universe, or the entire multiverse, excuse me. So its job is to stop people from getting to it, and by creating another island, the loop can then be reinstated so that people are not getting to the zero point like the Herald almost did at the end of this season. Now eventually after we collect enough zero shards and we do our bunch of little challenges and all that fun stuff we get yet another cutscene and in this cutscene the paradigm is doing something that may be risking her life. It feels like we're supposed to have an emotional attachment to her like she's going to die or something but then she just doesn't and she's totally fine so i'm i'm not really sure why that storyline was established but hey epic games kind of does random stuff sometimes basically the paradigm then pulls in a chunk of her reality to be the final piece to finish off the island for those who don't know that big ice planet that we see in the trailer is actually the paradigm's home reality and she is using it to finish off the chapter 4 island so basically now that the chapter 4 island is built we're back to where we started in chapter 3 three except now there's no io and the nothing is gone but this is where the plot twist comes in remember how i said there's no antagonist well think again at the end of chapter three season two jeno got literally deconstructed into tiny atoms by the zero point but because he has worked for eons on perfecting his genetic composition, he can reconstruct himself atom by atom. That's right, the enemy for next season is going to be Geno, the tier 100 skin in the battle pass. So it's going to be really, really cool because we are seeing literally the Thanos of the Fortnite universe going up against the Loopers, who now have basically none of the seven to protect them. For those of you guys who don't know, the seven were in the chrome when it blew up. So they are dead now, like we lost the seven. So I don't know what's gonna happen now. We don't have the seven and we're up against Geno. It's literally gonna be the loopers versus the world. I'm very interested to see where the storyline goes this next season, but overall, that's all the lore that you need to know about the Fortnite end of chapter three live event. It was pretty confusing overall and there was never really a, a secure answer or an exact answer as to what happened, why it happened, how it happened, all that good stuff. But in classic Fortnite fashion, we'll need to wait about another three Three months before we get another update but for now i hope you guys did enjoy this video or find it helpful if you did then consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel also consider popping in creator code gummy yoshi when you're buying your fortnite battle pass for chapter four or at least have somebody's creator code in there so that that five percent is going back to somebody and not epic games's endless wallet but if you guys did enjoy the video like i said like subscribe all that good stuff i hope you guys all have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in the next one